it may seem confusing, but we are infusing oils, Ooh. to be exact. Today we're going to be infusing some different herbs and spices into a neutral oil to make our own tasty infused oils. So we've got a few ingredients to choose from. Over here we've got a seed. Imogen, do you reckon you might know what this seed is? Um, no. Give it a whiff. Still not enough. Excellent. What about you, Andrew? Give it a sniff. It looks I'll organic. A, I'll give you a clue. It starts with C. Have a look at home. Do you know what this one is? This one? is coriander seed, one of my oh, favourites. It's lovely for Middle yeah. Eastern cooking as well as Asian cooking. So, so I'm going to get uh, Andrew to crush that. Meanwhile, Imogen, I'm going to get you to pass this yeah, herb over here. I'm going to give you a second chance yeah, draw. What herb do you think that is? Um, basil. Basil, well done on the first try. Now the basil we're going to whiz up with some oil. So let's get the lid off this blender. We'll just put it in. Just pop that it straight in there, and then we're going to use a neutral oil. In this case, this is a light vegetable, uh, light sorry, olive oil. There you go. Start pouring. Neutral oil half sourced of that from uh, Switzerland, Alice, or uh, this is just a local Australian oil. That's nice, but I like your joke, Nick. You make funny jokes, and I get them. Okay, here we go. We're going to whiz this up. Here's one we whizzed up earlier. This is some basil and some oil that's been infused. It's been heated to just before the boil. And then we've let that cool. You want to let it cool before you start to pop it through this cheesecloth. So Imogen, I'm going to let you do this job. So like, don't worry about the cloth, just pour it in. Yep, All right. there you go, start pouring. And I'm going to hold this cheesecloth. If you don't have cheesecloth at home, you can use a clean uh, dishcloth. Just make sure that it's a clean one. Now, as you can see, the oil is passing through, very slowly passing through the cheesecloth or muslin cloth, and it's a lovely bright green colour. We actually blanched the basil before we heated it, which means putting it into boiling hot water and then straight into iced water. I reckon that curry is ready to go into the pot. It's very so aromatic, pass it over. Isn't it? Oh. Very. What does that smell like to you, Nick? Oh, it smells like coriander. It definitely does. Coriander Ooh. seed is what the coriander actually releases to plant more plants, basically. So, Andrew and Nick, I'm going to leave you in charge of passing this one here. Andrew, go for the pour, mate. There we go. From the height. There we go. And make sure that the cheesecloth doesn't collapse in on itself. Just hold on tight. And you won't see a colour in this one. Thank you, Nick. Just lift that one up so you can see it still it looks like olive oil, but it's got the flavour and aroma of coriander. Now, Imogen, let's pour the basil oil into this bottle. That's looking tremendous. Now, what do you guys reckon we can do with this oil? It looks um, so pretty. Use it, like, in other areas of cooking? Yeah, like where? Like, I don't know. Um, bread or something? Yes. yes! Dipping some crusty bread into this infused oil. Gold. Mm -hmm. You could market them. For example, uh, <laughs> this is the basil, isn't it? Yeah. Basil Bliss. Basil. A new fragrance yeah. from Crunch Time. Wonderful. Well, we've got some other... Oh, don't drink it, oh, though. Drink it. Okay. Now, we've got some other infused oils. So, Nick, Andrew, maybe you guys might come up with some fun names for all these. What do we think? This is uh, Rosemary. What do we want to go with this one, Andrew? Mary's Rose. Oh. Mary's Rose. I like Mary's Rose. Very good. I like that a lot. Or, you know, something like Rosemary Riot, the new summertime <laughs> fragrance from Crunch Time. That's very nice. Oh, or you could go Basil for the... Faulty. Basil Faulty. Yeah. yeah. Now, over here, what, what have we got as the next oil, Nick? Any ideas what this might be? Garlic. Andrew? What's that one, Imogen? Cashew. Cashew. Mm. Caribbean yes. cashew, a new fragrance <laughs> from cashew. Crunch Time. Available in all good retailers. What's this one there, Nick? Time Flies, the new annual fragrance, perfect for any time of year. Yes, so that one's got thyme and lemon in that one. And the final one over here, we've got some... What's that one? Garlic. Bit of garlic. garlic. Nice work, um, Andrew. What would you call that one? Garlic's the gnome fragrance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep away all of your family vampires. Very oh, good. Oh, that's so much better. Keeping away the bloodsuckers. And of course, you can find the recipes for all of these on our website. Or you can make your own lovely infused oils with some of these flavours. What do you think? Imogen, what would be your favourite combination of oils? Um, lemon and 
cashew. Lemon oh, and cashew. Yeah. Nice. Andrew, what about you? I tend to like garlic and thyme. Garlic and thyme. Speaking of thyme, we are out of it. But if you want to give this a go, head to our website. See you after the break. Not <laughs> available for individual sale.